Ahanesia calls for the surrounding of Tunambu on May 29 claims that the Igbos are wiser now. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. In an official statement released by Secretary General Mazio Kechuku E.C. Guzuru, Ohaneze, a social cultural organization representing the Igbo people in Nigeria, has declared that all Igbos will participate fully in the pre inauguration and swearing in ceremonies of the president elect Tudumbu on May 29, 2023. According to Sahar reporters, this Clayton clarified that the Igbos are not part of any interim government and they want Tudumbu to be sworn in on May 29. According to Sahara reporters, the statement was further mentioned that the Igbos are now wise and aware of the evil scheme of an interim government which is unconstitutional, satanic, and atrocious. Isi Guzuru also expressed hope that Tirumbu would zone the Senate President to the South, a stating that it is the only way for Igbos to receive fair representation in the National Assembly. The statement by Ohaneze is a clear indication that the Igbos are not ready to accept any interim government and are looking forward to the swearing in of the president elect on May 29th. It is a sign that the Igbos are not wiser and more aware of their rights and the consequences of accepting any interim government. The important role of the Igbos in the Nigerian political system cannot be underestimated, and this statement is a testament to their commitment to the cause of good governance and democracy in Nigeria. As the president elect, Tunambu prepares to be sworn in May 29th. The Igbos have clarified that they are eagerly awaiting his leadership. And they're not part of an interim government. Oga, Okuchuku Isi Guzuru, you speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> because I am going to tell you people. Now, listen to what this person said. After this statement, too. you guys have no choice. Stop envying the Yorubas. They want to be where they are in the Nigerian setting. They always laugh last because they are wiser. So, you are saying they have no choice. <laughs> Now, there are these kind of statements, right? they cause wahala. They have no choice to do what? They have no choice than to accept. They have no choice to do what exactly? If I am there, you would explain that they have no choice. <laughs> now, this kind of statement, right? they cause wahala. Now, Igbos envying Yoruba in what way? Igbos are far better. You know, they don't start. I know that this will happen. In all areas of life, Agboros, Motopark people. It is only one lazy man that will envy empty vessels. Hey, my goodness. They don't start. That makes so much noise. Igbos are hardworking and are also seeking their life pursuit. In fact, they will feed you and your generations non-stop it received for verification. Your bars are envying the Igbos and are really frightened by the progress and success. You don't do. You don't do. Make the person who start this ethnic uh, tribal war. Make the person there for where they laugh now because I know say in own karma go reach him soon. Okay. Really, yet you cannot survive without them. Don't allow bitterness to consume you. Your boss do not see both of your competitors either. Your boss are doing good. Are doing what they know how to do best. And they are best so far in Nigeria of today. Make one stop all this petty petty fight. It will take you people nowhere. The earlier you people realize that this petty petty fight takes you people nowhere and it only waste your time, the better for you. Envy them for what? Having so many jobless and violent hooligans. Can you, these Biafra people, not go back to the east and develop your area? Why developing other people's land? What is making you people run away from your land? You must find out. Well, their number one, uh, what's the called point is, every, uh, what's the called, they don't have the resources over there. That is just it. Okay. But let us learn how to not to cause problems. Huh? If I may ask, what happens to the court case as regards the presidential election? Is this read or at least the fake one? My darling, I say they speak for themselves. Just wait, so make You will see here another release. Okay, the fake ones from people who are experts in fakeries. Remember the fake bishop? They think they're very smart enough preaching a fake department. They will fail. Hmm. All right, his name doesn't ring. Okay, his name does not ring a bell in the land, so I will know the fake news. You see, they say Isi Guzuru Kechuku. It doesn't ring a bell at all. You are talking for you and your family. Okay. 
you do not know them they are cowards okay this is lie these are not evils okay yes who that be cut who that can fit let him bear it which of the evil my may hand meet you dear <laughs> who the envy empty cut on like on a lot of things the earlier we realize that we cannot forge ahead without coming together the better for all of us the faster for all of us to be very sincere all right um this is what i'm going to say you see guzoro coming out to say this that there are no calls for interim government first of all who even tell them that issue of interim government who even told them that who told them that <laughs> make everybody be careful make everybody be careful Big they're not go use this them see them see cause insidious wala among themselves. All right. All right, well at the end of the day, like I said, what is interim government? Why are you hell bent on thinking that? And then somebody is coming out to say, No, Tremble is doing this so Tremble and I don't think I don't think this Tunubu is doing this. Tunubu and these people are going to now accept Tunubu because they don't want any interim government. I don't think that is entirely true. In fact, I'm not going to be surprised that Kohanez and Dibu will come out again and tell you. And nobody then make that statement. They are going to tell you and assure you. See that statement. So nobody then make up. All right. Now, let me also say this. Hmm? They said that. Isikuzo also expressed hope that Stenembo will zone the Senate presidency to the South, stating that it is the only way for the Igbos to receive fair representation in the National Assembly. They don't they lobby for the Senate position so much and so badly. Meanwhile, people, no, not be everybody want them all. A lot of people said the Senate president position is not, is not okay. Why? Because in this country, you always hear of vice president and president themselves, but you hardly hear about you. Hold, um, you hear about them. How do I put it? Okay. Now this is also what I'm going to be talking about. This talk about interim government is a lie. It's lies from the pit of hell. Nobody is coming to take anybody away. Nobody is coming to take anybody away. All right. Um, at the end of the day. Okay, and at the end of the day. All right, well, at the end of the day, this thing now, at the end of the day, it's not going to, you know, we'll go down well with a lot of people, like as we already saying, but we'll see how this one goes. At the least, make an easy comment, I can tell them, see, nobody then talk this one. All right, and this note, we've come to the